Its course has been the root of history's greatest conquerors. Its waters have nourished the cradle of civilizations and fed the world's greatest religion for millennia. It has been called the father of rivers. Witness the most fascinating and untold story of Sindhu, the river of Indus. Join us on an epic journey through 11,000 years of history, geography, and culture. with us, 2,000 miles with mighty Indus. Hello everyone, welcome to The Drop. This is Hamad and today we're going to be talking about spirituality spirituality and how that connects with self-belief. I have with me someone very special, someone who is a painter, a writer, a CEO of a startup company who has accomplished so much in her life that we can only dream of. I have with me Tanzila Khan. Thank you Tanzila for being with us. Thank you very much Ahmad. So Tanzila, we live in a time where spirituality is something that everyone craves. The materialistic life is not sufficient enough to quench the thirst of millennials their hunger for deeper meaning. So before we expand our conversation, I would first like to ask you, what is spirituality in the eyes of Tanzila? I think for me, spirituality comes from actions and our choices. Unfortunately, we tend to believe that spirituality is some, you know, long lost connection with God or is it something that comes from above and all, which could be true. But I think for me, it has more to do with how we act in our daily life, what are our choices and what do we consume. So Tanzila, we live in a time where millennials are experiencing a lack of spirituality in their lives. You know, a lot of people are committing suicide, young people. How do you help them in terms of spirituality? How can spirituality inculcate in them a deeper sense of meaning in their lives? I think this is a very interesting thing you've asked me and it's quite unfortunate that ma many millennials instead of feeling the power within and believing that we're young and we have the energy and we can do so much, they are restoring to options that are so destructive. I mean, what can be worse than just ending your life? Here, I think there is a huge gap between believing in opportunities and then having a plan to go towards it. For example, I think many millennials believe that going into activities that are very short-term pleasurable will, will bring them happiness. That never really works. It never worked for anyone. So I think we need to mentor our younger generation and the future generation and, and tell them that what really works. And of course, there is pain. There is a lot of hard work. Nothing really comes easy. And that is success as well. So let us now talk about self-worth. How does self-worth come into all of this? We see a lot of young people who are shamed, who are bullied, who are always told that they are not good enough. How does spirituality help self-worth? We are constantly living in a culture where every moment you're reminded that you're not good enough. You turn on the television, you open a magazine, you talk to a friend, you open social media, everything is in your face telling you you're not good enough, your neighbor got a car, they are in a better relationship, they look better, they're thin enough, they're fair enough. You know, we can't fight this as humans. This is too much. For this, you need utmost strength 
to believe in yourself and by the by the end of the day it really comes back down to you how much you believe in yourself and how much you like yourself so and i think if if i tend to follow the trends i should be dead by now because i'll never be on the cover of vogue i'm not up to the standards of their standards of beauty but the reason why i'm still surviving is because i believe in my standard of beauty and that is more to do with actions so you've talked about the importance of self belief in one's life but how does self belief originate in someone do you need an external anchor in your life so that you can cultivate self belief i think people can completely do this on their own self belief is a choice and if you're not making that choice that is the choice you're making so if you're choosing to believe in the world that is moving towards destruction then you're with them but if you choose to believe in a lifestyle and a persona that this is who i am this is my identity and i am good enough for myself that's it this is the choice you're making so you're literally like one step away from a completely different life okay excellent but for example i want to believe in myself what will self belief get me in life we all want certain tangible materialistic outcomes associated with a belief how will self belief create value in my life you know one thing i find really funny is that we tend to look at peace as a life of zen somewhere in the mountains you know you're sitting next to a water body and what are you eating grapes that is not what peace is that is not that is so unrealistic that doesn't even happen in movies anymore the idea of peace is to have a balanced life so when we talk about believing in one self and say okay so put the material aside that's impossible you need material to survive so if you believe in yourself in your strengths then you polish those strengths then you get a better job and the better job brings in the money and then you consume that money in the best way possible there's nothing wrong with having material it's what you do with it so tanzila let me ask you how did self belief come into your life was was this something that was innate in you was this something that was inspired by parents or teachers how did this journey begin for you i think if if i go uh, quite behind and if i start thinking about my life somewhere i made certain choices and one belief that really saved me was was the fact that we are complete individuals and we are enough for ourselves so i i talked to myself and i said tanzira you've come into this world you definitely have everything you need you just need to explore it and figure it out and i thought what an exciting life that would be if i set out on a journey to explore myself and for that all i have to do is just hop from one hobby to another just explore different fields talk to so many people get so many perspectives on myself is not exciting so i think i was quite excited to be alive i was quite excited to believe that there's so many flavors that i have to consume there's so many people i need to talk to there's so many places that i need to be at so For me that entire idea of self belief came from the fact that I'm a complete person and that because of that it's going to be a great journey ahead. So it's more like what you tell yourself about yourself. It comes from here. Okay, so let us talk about something that our viewers might feel when they look at you. If a viewer comes here and watches this program, the first impulse that they might get is that this is a person who has experienced disability. and w- with that disability might have gone through a series of experiences suffering torment abuse that must have led them to this place where they started believing in themselves is that true well one very important part is that you believe about yourself what you want to believe so my disability part comes in that's what the people want to believe about me but that's not what i believe about myself in fact if you've asked sometimes i forget i have a disability and i always laugh that that might get me killed some day because this is me standing on a roof i'm like i'm about to fly but that won't happen here's the thing what i want everyone to understand is that you create your own beliefs for yourself and the world starts to follow you know you need to walk and talk and act like a king first to become a king so let's start from us within ourselves first and the world follows so tanzila when you share your journey with people how do they respond are people receptive to what you have to share with them do you see positive changes coming into their lives when you share your journey of self belief with them I have seen behavior change towards me. For example, I wanted to be more than a king. I wanted to be a leader. I wanted to have possess leadership qualities and then apply that. 
and i could feel that the world would follow my lead my team would come back there would be people who would be willing to work under me would be willing to take my advice and get mentorship from me so i've really seen a change of behavior because of the change in my beliefs so one thing i can tell you that for sure and then i have seen certain people my my friends or anyone that i've worked with start following that that you you put out all those stereotypes outside all those stigmas everything that's telling you that you're not worth it you need to put that in the dustbin first and then the world follows thank you so much tanzila for being here and answering our questions this was certainly a conversation full of richness and insight so viewers you watched our episode of spirituality but there's more the title of our next video will be empathy that you can tune into next week thank you for being with us see you next time Thank you.